Hi everyone and welcome to this week's tech tip. This week we're going to take a quick look at some of the best practices when creating your shop drawing settings. So we're going to start by coming here to our wall drawing operations and um, our manager. And as you can see uh, now the settings will be empty and you're going to have the option to either create default shop drawing settings or to start, start one from scratch. So if you're going to start one from scratch, you're going to give it a name. And when you double click on it, everything will be empty. So you're going to have to start your views, uh, add your sheets and everything else uh, from scratch. The other option is just to click here and then you will be generating your default settings. And if you double click on it, out of the box, we already have some settings. So we're going to have some views. And if you click in one of them, for example, the elevation, you're going to see that you already have some of the dimensions checked off, some labels. And of course, you can change that too. Uh, you already have your detail level, your visual style set and also the scale. So you can, of course, change that. But out of the box, you already have some settings. And also, you will all, uh, already have some sheets. So if we come back here to our new settings that are empty, the first thing uh, that is important to do, you can either start by uh, creating your views or by creating your sheets. And it's very important to make sure that you're creating the sheets in the correct tab. So this is for the standard panels and this one is for multi-layer. So in case you don't have multi-layer on your uh, panels on your project, you just have to worry about this tab here. Um, then you can click here on create and you're going to generate a sheet. And you have to do that first before going and setting your layout directory. Okay, so uh, in case you want to do that for the multi-layer as well, you can come here and create one sheet for your multi-layer panels. And then I'm going to come back here to my standard uh, tab and I'm going to click here to set uh, my layout directory. And this is new. You're going to see that it's not going to be pointing at any specific folder. It's not going to be the default one inside the installation folder. Uh, so you will be able to set your path and select whatever folder you have in your uh, computer uh, that has your layouts. Um, or you can point it out to the default layouts that we have available within the MWF installation folder. So you're going to come here to Program Files, Shopsoft Solutions. I'm using 2021, Commands 2021. And uh, we're going to see here, it's going to be that one, Layer Framing, and then Config. And Imperial, if you're using Imperial, Metric, if you're using Metric, I'm using Imperial, and this will be the folder. And you're going to see that if you double click on it, it's going to be empty, but that's OK. We're just selecting the folder. Then we're going to click OK and come here. If you do want to check if you have the, uh, the right path, you just have to click here on Sheet Layout Directory. And you're going to see that now we're looking at the correct location. So you can point this to any folder. If your Sheet Layout folder is in your desktop, that's OK as long as you point it to the correct place. And then if you want to check, you just have to click here and you're going to see your layouts. OK, um, so you can do that the same process for the multi-layer tab. You're going to have to come again and set your path or check it if it's already OK. Now that my paths, uh, now that my sheets are set, uh, I can come here and start creating my views from scratch. So if I click here on create new, I'm just going to select the elevation view as, as an example. So the first thing you have to do is give it a name. Otherwise, you will not be able to come here to the view settings. And then uh, you can choose your dimensions and also your labels. 
And once you have everything that you need checked off, you can come here to view settings. So the main settings that you have to pay attention to are the detail level. So it has to be set to either fine or medium. Uh, so you can see your panel members, the visual style, and the, the scale. And if you are creating settings for a multi-layer panel, if you do have multi-layer panels in your project, it's always uh, you always have to set which layers you want to show. So you can do that by index or by layer function. So just make sure that you have what you need checked off. And lastly, uh, we have here, in case you want to use smart tags, this is where you have to come to add your smart tags as a label method. And in case you do want to use smart tags, just make sure to come back here to your labels tab and uh, uncheck both those two first options here. So both of them, uh, they need to be unchecked in case you want to use the smart tags. And once everything is set, you just click OK. So you're going to have your view here. And as you can see, the OK button is going to be grayed out. So you have is if you already have a sheet and you have views you have to assign uh some views to the sheet so you can, so you will be able to check the okay button so if we come here to standard and we double click on the sheet i'm just going to assign the elevation view here and once i do that and click okay and i do the same for my multi-layer one because i already have i also have a um a sheet set here for my multi-layer. I'm going to set assign the same view. And once I do that, uh, you're going to see that you will be able to click OK. And that is it for the main best practices uh, when creating your shop drawing settings. I hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, see you guys next week.